This is lesson three in module four. In this lesson, we'll be identifying, defining, and drawing perpendicular lines. Let's start with this figure. We have two lines that are crossing each other. We're going to label a point on each of the line segments. as well as the point where they cross. Now, if we look at our right angle template, we see that the angle formed is a right angle. When lines form a right angle, either by, by crossing each other or by meeting at the vertex, we call these lines perpendicular. Now let's look at two other lines. Now these lines are also crossing each other, but the angles formed are not right angles. These two angles are less than 90 degrees, so they're acute. And these two angles are greater than 90 degrees, so they're obtuse. So we say these two lines intersect, or they cross each other, so we call them intersecting lines, but they do not form right angles, so they're not perpendicular. We designate that two line segments that form a right angle are perpendicular by naming the line segment. So in this situation, line, a, line segment AE intersects with EB and is perpendicular to it. So we use this symbolism to represent the fact that AE is perpendicular to EB. We could also say that CE is perpendicular to EB to form this right angle. We can also say that DE is perpendicular to EC because we have another right angle here. And finally, that EDE -E is perpendicular to AE to form the final right angle. Let's look at another problem. We have to remember also that we can draw a line in any direction. So this is a line, and we can draw a line that's perpendicular to that line, even though the line is not lined up with the bottom of the page, we can still draw a perpendicular line and show that we have created two right angles by drawing a diagonal line and a line perpendicular to it. Let's use our problem set to look for some other perpendicular lines. So our directions say in each object trace at least one pair of lines that appears to be perpendicular. So if we look at the first one we see that we have what appears to be a perpendicular line here to here, and we'll mark it that way. Pause the video and look for perpendicular lines on the other shapes. In the brick wall, there's many perpendicular lines. Each of the bricks is intersecting each other and forming perpendicular lines because each of the bricks is a rectangle. 
but here we have one. We also have one here. So there's many here that you could have marked. These are perpendicular lines. The corners of this piece of paper are perpendicular lines. The fence interact intersect each other, the fence posts to make perpendicular lines. The center support on the kite is perpendicular. Now this shape here doesn't have any perpendicular lines. The, all the angles are either less than or greater than 90 degrees. Here the stitching on the football forms a right angle, so there's perpendicular lines. Pause the video and answer question number two. Okay, you know lines are perpendicular. Lines are perpendicular. If they form a right angle. Okay, pause the video and try number three. Okay, using your straight edge, we can draw a perpendicular line here. You can draw a perpendicular line here. You could also draw them on the other side. You can draw them in many different locations. Also here. Anytime you form a right angle, you have perpendicular lines. Okay. Let's look at number four. For here, you're looking for uh, right angles in these different shapes. If you find them, you're going to indicate which pair of lines are perpendicular. This one's been started, it's showed us one set of perpendicular lines. Pause the video and look for the others on this shape. So we had AB perpendicular to BD forming the first right angle. Now we also have this one. So we have BD being perpendicular to CD. We also have this one so we have AC perpendicular to CD. We also have this right angle. So we have AB perpendicular to AC. Pause the video and mark any perpendicular lines in B. For this one, there were none. All these angles are either acute or obtuse. Try C. We have one right angle here. So we say that EF is perpendicular to EG. Try D. For D, we also have none. A circle doesn't have any angles by definition. Pause the video and try E. So even though this shape is rotated on its side, we still have, it's still a rectangle and there still are right angles at each of the intersections. So we have AZ is perpendicular to AW. We have AW is perpendicular to WF. WF is perpendicular to FZ. And FZ is perpendicular to ZA. Try F, G, and H.
For F, we have none. None of those angles are right angles, so we don't have any perpendicular lines. Additionally, for G, there's none. Because there's no right angles, there's no perpendicular lines. For H, we have a right angle here, a right angle here, and a right angle here. So Y, U is perpendicular to U, V. V, W is perpendicular to W, X. And W, X is perpendicular to Y, X. Okay, moving on. Pause the video and try number five. Don't forget the note. Okay, how many pairs do we see? Well, let's mark the right angles. There's one, there's two, there's three, there's four, there's five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So with twelve right angles, we also have 12 pairs of perpendicular lines. Pause the video and try number six. That statement would be true because right angles are formed by perpendicular lines. So if a shape has a right angle, it must also have at least one pair of perpendicular lines. And that concludes lesson three.